Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're talking about vanilla all of our favorite subjects. Beautiful vanilla fragrances that I have in my collection. And there is something here for everyone because I pulled out some of my unique vanilla fragrances that I think are worth checking out. Some of them I love and some of them I just like. So I really wanted this video to be for you guys and not just about me. So we're talking about vanilla fragrances that I think are worth you just sniffing. So get yourself a sample before you splurge. Some of these are quite pricey, but I will link everything down below in my description box. And if I have any code or anything like that, I will link it down below too. So check out the description box for any details, but I hope you guys are doing fantastic and enjoying all of these videos. Let's go ahead and jump into these fragrances. I'm going to start off with my newest one. This is Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. This is a brand that I recently got introduced to and I am just enjoying exploring their fragrances. I love the bottles. They're very simple, very minimalistic, and I think that they just do a great job in standing out when you walk into Sephora. This is considered a clean brand, okay? So if you're looking for a clean brand when it comes to your fragrances, this is a great option. Option. To me, this vanilla scent is really, really beautiful and kind of easy to comprehend. Sorry, I'm just here breaking up some of my uh, strips here so I can actually spray them and not spray them all over my skin. So I'm gonna spray this one. The atomizer is nice. It's so soft and it gives you a nice mist. Ooh. Ah, oh, this is very soothing. It's very calming. It is a vanilla scent that has a little bit of this aromatic vibe in the background. And the vanilla is not sickening sweet. I wouldn't say this is like a intoxicating gourmand vanilla. It's more of a comforting scent. It's very cozy and warm and it has like this sweet aspect to it, but not sugar sweet, like more of an authentic vanilla type of scent profile. And I love this when I'm out of the shower. It just smells so cozy and enveloping and it's gorgeous. It's very light actually for a vanilla scent. It's not super dense and cloying whatsoever. So if you don't like those like super heavy, sweet cookie cutters type of vanilla, you might really enjoy this one. Um, like I said, there's this very aromatic vibe about it. Think of like lavender. That's what I think of when I smell this fragrance, very soft and suave, like a warm hug. Oh, it's so beautiful. The way it dries down is really, really cozy. You can easily wear this all day long during the winter time, especially it's going to warm up on your skin when you're outside. But again, I love this for those Netflix and chill kind of moment right out of the shower. It just smells gorgeous. I'll be honest in saying this is not my most long lasting vanilla fragrance, but it does have a decent amount of longevity. It's more of a skin scent on me. I don't find that this projects very loud or anything like that. It's not gonna like take over an entire room. It's more of a softer fragrance. Next, we have another newer vanilla that I added to my collection and I am obsessed with her. I'm gonna say run, don't walk, like we say over on TikTok, because this is so good. It is 18 Vanilla Nera from Letta. This bottle is beautiful. I think Stephanie did such an incredible job with her brand and this fragrance is divine. It really does smell like a niche fragrance. This is so beautiful and it's blended to perfection. <sighs> It's so stunning. In the opening, it's a little bit fresh and spicy. I believe there's pink pepper in here. Of course, there is vanilla in here. There's cashmere on in here. It just smells so suave and enveloping and very niche-like. The vanilla in here is sweet enough, but there's this kind of fresh and airiness vibe to this fragrance that makes it so elegant and so wearable. It's not heavy at all. Oh, it smells so chic, like chic, chic vibes. You wear this fragrance. Like if you hate vanilla fragrances, this is the, the vanilla fragrance that I would say you need to try out because it's one of those that you just cannot hate. It just smells that good. 
if you want a niche like quality when it comes to a vanilla fragrance get it and the price point is incredible okay she had an amazing black friday sale i will say so if you missed that out sorry but even with the regular price point i think that for the quality that you are getting the dna of this fragrance it is worth every single penny it smells so luscious so elegant I get this like fresh herbally almost aromatic vibe in this vanilla too but it's not super strong it's not overpowering the vanilla the vanilla is still there but it's a very suave soft slightly sweet vanilla but not cloying not gourmand at all and there are white florals in here that adds a touch of creaminess it is divine honestly divine if you're gonna pick up any of the vanilla fragrances i'm talking about in my collection right here this is one that you don't want to skip out on i know she has travel sizes so if you don't want to commit to a full size bottle get a travel size and try it out but honestly it's beautiful i love wearing this um i spray this and it lasted all day long on my skin and on my clothes and it has the greatest amount of projection where it's not overbearing it's not going to take over the entire room like like this is not beast mode but it projects really really well if someone is standing near you they will smell it and it just has the most pleasant scent profile so definitely one that i would highly recommend everyone trying out the next vanilla that i have is one that i talk about every single year multiple times during the winter because it's my go-to this is my newer bottle and they did switch up their bottles i do prefer the older bottles but this is also very lavish and that is angelique noir from guerlain so here is the newer bottle and she is she's gorgeous i mean she's gorgeous but you know me i like things a little bit more minimalistic but this is the newer bottle it's absolutely beautiful this is a vanilla that is green herbally vanilla a little spicy also <sighs> my god the first time i smelled this fragrance i fell in love i was like what is this this is the epitome of fragrance done perfectly like perfumery is an art and this is a beautiful art piece honestly it smells so good like that green touch in there just like wakes you up I always describe this as like walking into like a greenhouse there's something very like green and airy and almost like the leaves and all the greenery have just been watered with this mist of water but then there's this like vanilla pod in every corner and you can smell it. It's so beautiful, very luxurious, very well refined, um, super elegant, perfect like signature scent if that is your vibe for an everyday wear. Like if you work in an office, you definitely high up because if you're wearing this every day, <laughs> She's a pricey one, but it smells so good. And this has more of a cozy vibe to me. There's something about it that's just warm, spicy and green and herbally. And it gives me like this comforting scent profile. I almost lost my thought. It gives me this comforting vibe and it's just so luscious and gorgeous. Again, this is not your typical vanilla this is definitely for those that want a more unique vanilla you love green touches in your fragrances those kind of vanillas so keep that in mind really read up on the notes before splurging on any niche fragrance honest honestly and um really understanding what you're buying because when i look at the notes i can definitely see that this is what it smells like especially they do emphasize there is an angelica note in there and it's very green and kind of spicy and that's what you get from this one it's so oh it's so good it's like a spicy green tea with vanilla nuances in there it's so comforting and cozy i love this one i wear it a lot i still have my older bottle so i haven't touched this one just yet until i finished my other bottle and yes i'm keeping a backup that's how much i love it so much okay now let's go on to another vanilla here this is more on the sweeter side and this is christian dior's vanilla diorama this is part of their private collection this to me comes off as a very like boozy vanilla let me give you guys a close-up of this bottle actually it's really beautiful look at that i love their bottles and i like that the caps have this like magnetic closure 
like that really really great so like i said this to me comes off almost like um boozy in in various aspects i remember when i bought this one it was during the summertime and i was like whoa this is heavy for a summer fragrance i i don't remember even touching this during the summertime but now that it's winter <sighs> It's spicy, it's warm, it's boozy. It kind of reminds me of Killian's Angel Cher. That kind of DNA. If you like that fragrance, you're probably gonna really enjoy this one. They have a very similar vibe. This is just a little bit more airy. And this is definitely a lot heavier and uh, could give you a bit of a headache. To me, me personally, this is a heavy hitter and it definitely leaves an impression. Like this smells very luxurious. It's completely unisex, so anyone could wear this comfortably. I don't find it leans too sweet in a way where it's very feminine. It's sweet, but like in a very unisex way, if that makes any sense. And, ah. Oh, yeah, it reminds me of Killian's Angel Share. It does. It just has a bit of this, like, I don't know, something kind of airy about this fragrance, almost like herbally about this fragrance, but it's very boozy in the dry down. Very boozy. The vanilla is heavy on this one too, very spicy. And I'm thinking like not really spicy in like pink pepper spicy. For me, it's more like uh, like cinnamon type of spices, like pumpkin type of spices. Not There's no pumpkin in here, but those kind of like baking spices, that's what I get in this one. Oh my God, this is a heavy hitter of a fragrance. It smells really luxurious. This is one that I don't overspray. It lasts on my skin all day long. It projects like crazy. So if you love your beast modes kind of fragrances, this is definitely, definitely one you wanna try. If you're out here in Canada, specifically in Toronto, they do have this at Saks Fifth Avenue. They have the entire lineup and even the Christian Dior store downtown Toronto has all of the fragrances. So you can go in there, try it out for yourself, maybe get a sample and then see if you want to splurge on a full size bottle. I do believe that they raised their price this year along with many other fragrance brands, unfortunately, but um, get it while you can. The next fragrance that I have is also another heavy hitter. It is a Vanilla fragrance that I personally can't wear, but I love it on my husband. If I wear, I'm mixing it with other fragrances. But for those of you who love Amber, definitely try this out. This is from MFK and it's Grand Soir. It's super, super popular. Recently went viral on um, TikTok. I actually did a video on it that went pretty viral too. So this is getting a lot of attraction and a lot of love. Like I said, this is an amber and vanilla scent. It's very warm, very sensual, and it is a beast mode of a fragrance. You don't need a lot of this. And to me, it leans more masculine. Like it smells like a handsome, grown, rich man. The dry down is better for me. I find after the one hour mark, that's when the vanilla starts to really pull through on my skin and that masculine aspect of the fragrance dies down slightly. It still remains quite unisex, but on my husband, oh my God. When he wears this one, it's like, mm, it's so sensual on him not so much on me but there are a ton of women that love this fragrance it smells very alluring very confident and on me when i smell this not on me but when i smell this fragrance it is definitely just amber and vanilla and there might be a little bit of like this brightness and slightly a woody tone in the dry down too that i'm getting but it's very warm very rich very enveloping it's definitely a not a casual scent for me personally. I think this is very, like it says, grand soir. It's a very like special occasion. You're gonna pull this one off. Not really an everyday kind of scent. It's very lavish, super intoxicating. Oh, very, very intoxicating. So if you love amber in your fragrance, amber is gonna jump out at you with this one for sure. The next one that I have is a newer one in my collection and this is Kayali's vanilla oud from her oud gasm collection and i love this one okay this is one that i say run and get it i think she did a fabulous job with this one the oud in here is more of like a woody aspect it's not dirty or super animalic and you definitely get that gorgeous vanilla tone so good the vanilla is so smooth and silky in here 
oh yeah it's so silky and almost like the wood the oud in here kind of reminds me a little bit a little bit of oud satin mood from mfk now that i'm smelling it on paper but it's not as intense and i get some floral tones in here i don't know if there's floral but i get like a hit of rose in here for some reason but it's definitely vanilla like think of like vanilla 28 from kayali mixed in with like a woody tone or even invite only maybe invite only or even like vanilla royale like if you like vanilla royale i feel like you would like this one too uh, they're not the same but like they have that like complexity to them and this one is super wearable it's so beautiful and silky smooth it has like you know oud satin mood from mfk that silkiness in the dry down that's what i get from this fragrance it's so gorgeous very sexy you can wear this during the day, but honestly, evening, this is going to blow your mind. The oud in here is like a clean oud. It's slightly, maybe like a little bit dirty, a little bit, but it adds like some sexiness to the fragrance. This lasts really well on me. I definitely do overspray when I wear it. I already have a bit of a dent and I haven't worn it uh, too many times. I don't know if my camera is going to pick up that dent right there, but I really, really like it. So in here we have vanilla sugar, there's praline, saffron, white musk, oak moss and oud i definitely get the white musk in the dry down and i think that's where i get like a slight freshness to this fragrance um the saffron is there it's a little spicy but you're definitely going to get vanilla sugar in here in the dry down and the oud is more of like a clean oud oh if you just want to get introduced to oud try this one out it's really really good the next vanilla fragrance that i have is quite unique also and i really really like it i can't wait to wear this more and more during the winter time it's from a brand called boho boco vanilla black pepper the bottle is so beautiful i love that the top is this like velvety material so sophisticated and elegant i love love that touch this is a very unique vanilla also super unique so if you don't want a traditional vanilla this is one that you might want to try out oh it's an aromatic vanilla with the spicy peppery dry down oh my god it kind of reminds me i have it here it reminds me a little bit of vanille 44 from Le labo they have that similar airiness and freshness and very like wearable tone in them the vanilla is so clean and fresh and pure in this fragrance. It smells so elegant. It's a, it also kind of reminds me of a vanilla Nera, like that vibe there where it's not like a gourmand vanilla. It's not sickening sweet. It's just fresh, light, a little bit airy, but the vanilla is very sweet in a very soft aspect. A little spicy and definitely has a herbal tone to this fragrance. Oh, if you love your like herbally fragrances, this is one that you might want to check out. It has that like almost like tea, like green tea aspect to the fragrance. I don't know the notes. I'm literally just going off of what I smell and the vibe that I get. And this is definitely one that I'm going to put on my vanity because I want to experience it more and more. But if you're looking for a more unique vanilla, definitely check it out. And this brand has incredible fragrances. Like I had a sample set and I'll probably do a video on the entire sample set because there are so many gorgeous and very unique fragrances in that sample set. So if you wanna see that, let me know in the comments section. And then the very last vanilla that I'm going to talk about is one that I, I just pulled up and it's Vanille 44 from Le Labo. I just got this one recently and I haven't really experienced it too, too much. Here's my bottle with Le Labo. You know how they are, very minimalistic and very simple. Um, this is a very different vanilla scent. Like if you are, used to traditional vanilla fragrances do not blind buy this don't do it don't do it get a sample go into the store and smell it for yourself this oh, it's very fresh light airy it's kind of musky and citrusy and aromatic it's a very aromatic vanilla scent the vanilla is super clean very light and airy almost like cloud like in in a way and it smells like a herbal tea to me with a little bit of vanilla in there that's what this fragrance smells like it's not the vanilla that you are used to in designer fragrances or even gourmand fragrances it's 
very much a herbal fragrance. It's very fresh and very like everyday appropriate skin scent, clean skin kind of vibes. The vanilla does come through more in the dry down. It's a little bit more warmer, but all in all, this is more of a herbal scent. If you love those kind of like very aromatic, think of like walking into a spa. This is what this smells like. It smells like a spa. Oh, yeah, it smells like a spa to me. It really does smell like a very luxurious spa kind of vibe. So very aromatic, very clean, very to the point, fresh, light. If you are into like the clean girl aesthetics, this is kind of like the fragrance that I would go towards. I already have quite a few from Le Labo. I do like their fragrances a lot. I think that they make very unique fragrances and I really like the quality. So this is definitely one that I'm going to put aside to experience more and more so I can come back and tell you guys if it's even worth the quaint because it's a pricey one. It is a special fragrance because this is part of their city exclusives and this is the scent for Paris um, that I got in September. So in this, in September, they make their city exclusives available to everyone in store or online. And I opted for this one. There are definitely many others that I want to try, but this is the one that I got. So I'm going to spray it on myself a lot more during this month and get back to you guys. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. Definitely let me know down below. What is your favorite go-to vanilla fragrances? I'm looking for unique vanillas in every genre. So comment down below. I will list everything in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Ciao!